All right, then let's look at how can you also analyze um, companies uh, on top of what we have here. If you go to our website, uh, just to remind you, we also have our option screeners. So within our account, uh, and more and more stuff is always going to translate to the website. So we're going to have more and more data coming to the website in the next few months. But essentially, uh, what we have in our screeners is our gamma screeners, our gamma level screeners, our open interest screeners, volatility, volume, uh, and so on. So for example, let's say you're looking for companies that could have a, a potential move, but are currently in a low volatility environment, we can look at our IV rank score. So we see some interesting names that typically are very volatile, like credit, I was looking at it today, or uh, WMT that have a very low IV rank, but we can also, for example, look at uh, uh, highest open interest. So here we have our screener. So we see a lot of open interest on NVIDIA coming back. We have our SPY, our Apple, Tesla, as always. Then we can also come on our unusual option activity, right? So again, we saw a lot of activity on Oracle, you know, Palantir. It's going to be included in the indices, SMCI, Carvana. Again, every morning you can wake up with a list of stocks that you can look to analyze. And then again, we can uh, go back to our screeners and look, for example, so let's say we look at Palantir. Oh, there's a lot of activity on Palantir. Let's look at the swing model on Palantir. And again, uh, this one was a good one too, because if we go back four or five days ago, right here we had our, on the fourth, we had our, Lower band on 28, our risk trigger 32, and now we can go back on the chart and look at Palantir, and then we see our levels here that were broken yesterday and today.